It's time for another Walmart haul. Hey beauty, today I'm going to be switching up my Walmart video and doing an unboxing first impression style haul. I just think it's more fun that way. You guys get to see my initial reaction to everything that I ordered. We're gonna have some fun. Of course, I will be styling everything for you today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra and I post lots of fashion and beauty content. Lots of Amazon, lots of Walmart and DIY beauty. If you enjoy that kind of thing, let's hang out. I hope you enjoy and if you do don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below let's go ahead and get into this unboxing not gonna lie I did open up one of the packages before I decided to do a first impression style I couldn't help it I knew that this was coming in and I was really excited the fabric is actually really soft and it's more of like a cream I ordered this in a size medium it's by the brand American Classic Classics licensed apparel. It doesn't have any distressing or holes or anything like that cut out into it. I'm thinking about doing something of the sort just to give it a little bit more character. Overall, I really like this graphic tee. Super cute, perfect for the summertime with all the bright colors. So here is the Def Leppard graphic tee. I think I'm gonna crop this one just because when I pull it down, it's not as oversized as I wanted it. I do typically like my oversized tees with biker shorts just slightly bigger. I think if I would have sized up like one or two, I could have done it with biker shorts and even heels as a dress. I do like this sleeve length. I day to day would probably probably just wear it with a pair of jeans just front tucked like this. These are my Walmart No Boundaries jeans. I want to say this is the mom fit style. I love these jeans. I wear them day to day. And I did just pair the braided sandals from this haul. Probably would just grab my everyday bag and be out the door to run some errands. What do y'all think? Should I just keep it long and distress it or should I crop it and distress it? I can't decide on this one. Did really quickly want to share this Sublime t-shirt. I did pick this one up in store, which I did do a shop with me recently. I found this in the men's section. I ended up getting it in a size large from the men's section. I am thinking about filming a TikTok where I cut and dye this one to look like the Urban Outfitters one that is like orange tie-dye but has all the distressing on it. I think that would be a fun little <laughs> art project. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see something like that. I'm feeling the creative vibes with that one. Tell me why this is one of my favorite outfits from this video. <laughs> Honestly though, this is what I wear day to day and I'm so comfortable in it, but I think it's also really cute and trendy and easy. I really love the fit of this because it is oversized in all the right places, but it's also snug and all all the right places like right here in the hip. I just kind of folded it over. It just looks so good with these little biker shorts. I actually think I picked these up in a two pack from Marshalls last year on clearance and they are so soft. I did go ahead and just pair it with this Walmart handbag. This one's by No Boundaries. I found this one in store. I did a shop with me video when I found this one. I'm not sure that it's still available, but I have found some on Amazon that have similar hardware. That's my favorite part about this bag is that it does have the gunmetal hardware as opposed to gold or silver. I did go ahead and just put on these little black platforms. I've been wearing these like around my house. They honestly are so comfortable. I even wore these the other day to browse TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I was comfortable the entire time. We cannot forget sunglasses. These are from Amazon. I like the little fade aviator style. I did end up ordering this little scoop necklace. It's like one of those beaded necklaces that are very trendy right now. 
This one was on sale for like $10. It is actually two different chains, which is nice because I can mix and match these, which I do typically do with a lot of my necklaces. We'll see how long these necklaces stay without tarnishing. I haven't had the best of luck with Walmart jewelry, honestly, but I've also never had any from the Scoop line. So I wanted to try it out. It was very affordable, on trend, but sort of more mature and elevated. Let's get into this package right here. Ooh. I know what this is and I'm really excited for it, but the fact that it says eight to 10, it has me kind of worried, but I do typically buy a medium. This top, for example, is a scoop top that I picked up last year. It is still available online and I really love it. Let's see. It is a size medium and I really enjoy the fit. So even though it says eight to 10, I'm hoping that it fits me but it is this really gorgeous maxi dress that is crocheted it does look like it has a cotton very soft style lining on the inside it's absolutely stunning i cannot wait to try this on crochet is gonna be a huge trend this summer so i'm very very excited that i found this one they did also have one that was very similar from sofia vergara so if this one just has happens to be sold out, I will go ahead and link both because that one was gorgeous as well. The only reason that I went with the scoop one is because it was a couple dollars cheaper. Okay, wow. I wish you guys could see the details in this a little better. I know it's hard because it's black, but this dress is so amazing. It's flattering. It is comfortable. It's double lined. Like everything about this is so good. This definitely feels like a Nordstrom piece all the way around to the crochet details to the double lining and just the way it makes me look and feel. It's giving major beach vibes. So I went with the straw hat, just a basic little bucket bag. This one's from Kate Spade. I'll link their updated one. I've had this one for years and I love it. Amazon two strap heels that I have in basically every color. Color. This little beaded necklace I think pairs so cute with it. It just adds a slight touch of youth and trendiness to an otherwise classic outfit. These I'm actually really excited for. I might go back for the matching top, but I did just stick with the bottoms for now. Look at how cute these biker shorts are. They are a mixed leopard and zebra print style. These are by Sofia Vergara's activewear line. Did stick with my regular size medium, which it does also say eight to 10. These feel really nice and stretchy. I'm obsessed with the color and the pattern. Okay, these biker shorts I really, really love. I'm definitely gonna go back for the matching top. I was just kind of skeptical because I've never tried the Sofia Vergara active line before. So I didn't want the fabric to be like too constricting or uncomfortable comfortable or anything and honestly it's very comfortable. I even like the way that the bottom doesn't cut me off or like squeeze my leg too tight but it's still really snug on there. The high waist super thick waistband is also very flattering. I'm loving the animal print. I think it's super cute. It's not overdone or anything like that. I just paired it with this tank top from Amazon. It is sort of like a workout tank top because it has that sports bra underneath and then just a white zip up oversized hoodie. This one's also from Amazon. I think this is the men's line. Amazon Basics Men's in a size medium. And then of course I just paired it with my Adidas white tennis shoes. I totally would just wear this outfit around the house with chanclas and call it a day. I probably would even do like an oversized t-shirt over these. I'm very, very happy with them. The medium is really comfortable, not too tight, and the fabric is so soft. 
I can't stop touching it. Next up, I have this cropped crochet scoop top. I would say the color is in between like a lime and a Kelly green. I'm loving this color trend. And scoop did have a lot of crochet options, which I've been looking for all over Amazon. I found a lot on the scoop line, so I was really excited for that. It doesn't look like it would be like too super see-through. The different pattern around the armholes and the neck holes and even the hem. It looks like a very expensive top. Here is this green crochet little crop top. I really love this. I am just wearing a regular nude bra underneath and you cannot see it. I mean, of course, if you get like super close and you focus on it, you can see it, but that's why you wear a nude bra. It's soft, it's kind of stretchy, it's really cute in all the details and I'm really loving this. Did just go ahead and pair it with some white jeans. You totally could wear this with some regular blue jeans and cute little flat sandals. I just got these in from Amazon. They are by Levi's. It makes my waist look so snatched. I'm totally here for that. I also like that they are just a straight fit. I do, however, have them folded up on the bottom. I'm gonna have to cut these off because they are a little bit long. No big deal. They fit like a glove otherwise. I did just pair it with these two strap studs heels. These are from Amazon by The Drop and a pink bag. This one's by Coach. I actually just bought a new bag from the Coach outlet, which is where I got this one. They have a lot of cute pink handbags right now. They are running a sale for Mother's Day. I also just went ahead and threw on these little tortoise shell sunglasses. These are also from Amazon. Of course, the necklace that I got from this haul. I have noticed that Walmart does have Kindle and Kylie sometimes. I'm not like a huge Kardashian fan or anything like that, but I've always been curious about the Kendall and Kylie line because it's not something that they regularly promote or anything. So I just wanted to try it and I've actually been looking for one of these like terry cloth sets, which I thought it was a set and it's only the top. Was it a set? It looked like a set, but it's actually just the top. I didn't see a matching bottom, which is why I thought it was a set. So that kind of sucks, but this is actually still kind of cool. I do wish that I had the matching shorts though because I was planning on wearing this as just like a swimsuit cover up, which I guess I still can with just like a pair of denim shorts. I'm kind of bummed it's not a set though, not gonna lie. It was only $13. It's more of like a towel style fabric. Okay, what do we think about this little terry cloth button up? Honestly, I wasn't sold on it, but now that I have this outfit together, I'm kind of feeling it for like a swim party. The terry cloth fabric is perfect for a swimsuit cover up, so you could totally wear a swimsuit underneath instead of the white tank top. I did kind of look on Walmart to see if I could find the matching shorts, but this was the only listing, so I don't know, maybe I can find a pair of lime green shorts on Amazon to try and pair with this because I do like this outfit. I think it's super cute, but I think it would be so much cuter as a set. I just paired these distressed American Eagle jeans. These are my largest pair of jeans and they're tight. Like none of my denim shorts fit me right now, which sucks, but that just means I'll have to find the cutest ones for 2022. I never miss an opportunity to style these sparkly platforms from Just Fab. I just paired a nude little tote bag. I think I'm gonna keep this tank top. I did get in a set from Amazon and they do have a built-in sports bra. There's also a cute little crisscross cross in the back. We've got some goodies in here. Ooh, I got a sample liquid IV. I love liquid IV, you guys, and they just reached out to me to send me some samples and become a brand ambassador. I've talked about them on my Instagram before. My best friend is actually the one who sold me on them. I did not believe the hype, but once I started drinking them, I fell in love. Anyways, I wanted a cute little tank top that I could wear in the summertime. I thought that this was super cute. It is a glittery shimmery fabric, which this one did come in other colors and I went for the cream. I ordered my regular size medium 
and I'm excited for this. Okay, this top is so cute. It is a nice little subtle glitter throughout here and it's a perfect little summer top. It is so stretchy and comfortable. It also tucked into my jeans perfectly. I was thinking the straps were a little too long on me, but now that I'm wearing it around, they feel totally fine. I was almost considering cutting the strap right there where it meets the top and then tying my straps together like a halter. I think that could be cute too. If the straps are too long for you, it is double lined, so soft and stretchy. One thing I do want to mention though is that I think one of mine was sewn wrong. You don't notice it until you like really look at it and normally I have my hair like this anyway. Once I tucked my top into my strapless bra, it did kind of fix itself, which I do normally tuck my tops into my strapless bra because no one wants to see bra hanging out. And it's just a little fashion hack to keep your bra from showing. I went ahead and paired it with these Time and True Flare ankle jeans. I shared these in my last Walmart haul and I am so obsessed with them. They're stretchy, they're comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing leggings, honestly. And then I did just pair it with these strappy short heeled sandals. These are from Just Fab last year. I have seen a lot of really cute ones on Amazon that are similar. Of course, my brown woven little tote bag. This is from Amazon. I've had it since last year and I love it so much. I kept the necklace on and my tortoise shell little square frame sunglasses. You could definitely switch out the jeans for a pair of cut off shorts and some little flat sandals and be good to go for day to day. I know y'all have seen the asymmetrical waist shorts from Abercrombie. Well, No Boundaries has them. I went with the black, but honestly, I think I'm gonna get back online and order the denim as well because I have been seeing these shorts from Abercrombie all over TikTok. I ended up getting the size nine. The last No Boundary shorts that I bought was a size seven and they were just a little bit tight. I like my denim shorts to be a little bit more roomy. They are a little bit longer, sort of a Bermuda, definitely a Bermuda on me. But these are called the HR Crossover Relaxed Short. I am so impressed with these shorts. Oh my gosh, I'm going back for the blue pair. They're $12.99 and they fit amazing. The waist fits nice, the back fits nice, even the hips are very comfortable. I really like the length. These were a major win. I'm so happy that I found these dupes. I did go ahead and just pair it with this Sofia Vergara bodysuit. I've had this one for a while. I can't remember which haul that I posted this in, but but it's one of my go-to basics. I love how deep the V is and the little capped sleeve I think is cute. I just paired it with this black woven dupe bag from Amazon and my sparkly platforms. Oh, sunglasses. I'm sticking with the black theme and going for these aviator fades. I appreciate Time and True for making shorter inseams on their jeans for us petite girls. I actually wanted a pair of super light wash denim. So I went with these. They are the Time and True Slim Mid-Rise Boyfriend Crop Jeans. Time and True does tend to run big, so I do size down. Normally I'll get a six, but I went with a four this time. Let's fingers crossed that they fit. They do have the distressing on the bottom in one of the knees up here on the top and the coloring looks really nice there's what the back looks like i like all the distressing and the details like in the pockets it definitely makes the denim look more high-end and more expensive than they truly were these jeans have the most amazing fit i've already posted them on tiktok because i am absolutely obsessed i love the color i love that they are the perfect ankle length for us petite girls even the distressing is very 
minimal. They're not like up to my rib cage, but they're also not like super low rise. It's kind of the perfect in between. I went ahead and paired it with this neon pink little padded shoulder t-shirt. This is also from Walmart. I wanna say it's from my last Walmart haul. I really love this because it's a t-shirt, but it's still kind of dressy. You could totally wear this for work wear, even just casually. So there's lots of places to wear this and ways to style it. So I just wanted to share again, cause it's so good. It's nice and soft and really cute. And I like the neon pink with the super light wash jeans. So I just paired it with my woven summer bag and you guessed it, my sparkly little platforms. I feel like that little beaded necklace looks really cute as well. And for this look, we went with the tortoise shell little sunglasses. Ended up picking up these No Boundaries platforms in the black. I just feel like these are the most similar to the Steve Madden little platform sandals that was really popular in the 90s. It's giving me like childhood flashbacks. They were only $20. They are a faux suede and I appreciate that the whole shoe is black. I'll be wearing these nonstop. I love a platform shoe. They're the most comfortable to walk in and these do feel like they have a padded sole. Why do these look so huge? It's definitely a size six, but I feel like they look huge straight out of the box. My feet are small, so I wanted to get the ones that have the ankle strap rather than the two strap braids because the puffy two braids on me just makes my feet look this small. And I felt like the ankle strap would, would elongate my foot while me still being able to wear the puffy braided trend. I really like this cognac color. I think it's gorgeous. The soles are a memory foam and they do feel like they're gonna be super cushiony. I'm not gonna lie, I am seeing some glue and stuff right here on the shoe, which these were only $15, so I'm not gonna complain about that too much. Good little basic sandal for the summertime. A strapless bra. I was reading the reviews on this one and it said that it didn't have a closure in the back, which I found interesting and a lot of people really enjoyed that. So I'm excited to try this. First of all, the lining is leopard and I think that is so cute. The fabric feels really, really soft. It's got a good padding on the bottom and it does have a wire. On the back, it does have the grippies on the inside and it seems like it's super stretchy. That is gonna complete today's Walmart haul. I really hope that you enjoyed my picks and outfits today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because you know I'll be back with another Walmart haul soon. Keep an eye out for my Amazon hauls because if you like my style here, I'm sure you'll like my style over there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.